that was an overly, overly complicated escape. Let's see if I can actually make it to the Bureau this time without setting anybody off. Don't worry about me. God, they're everywhere. It's so annoying. What is that man thinking? Thinking about getting the hell out of here. Okay, thank God. Alright, man, the deed's done. Jerusalem needs a new ruler. So I have heard. What's this? No words of wisdom for me? Surely I have failed in some spectacular fashion. You performed as an assassin should. No more, no less. That you expect praise for merely doing as told, however, troubles me. It seems everything I do troubles you. Reflect on that. But do so on your way back to Masyaf. Your work here is done. Well, he's not a complete douche anymore. At least he's at least... To a more recent ...limitly accepting. Alright. And that should leave... Uh, ...Ocker, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go see what kind of upgrades I get. Use the scholars you have rescued to pass unnoticed into guarded areas. I can't think of anything that I haven't gotten, at least weapon-wise. Maybe I'll get something like extra throwing knives. That'll be handy. I always seem to be running out. Come, Altair. I would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good, good. I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. Each time you give only riddles in exchange. But no more. Who are you to say no more? I'm the one who does the killing. If you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I do not like your deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost. Taken. By you. And then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So I will not ask. I demand you tell me what binds these men. Uh, what you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Sable. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies. All pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard? Salah Eddin? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. Then they must be stopped. That is why we do our work, Altair. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? That you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information learned is more valuable than information given. Besides, your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence. I see. Altair, your mission has not changed. Merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malik retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. Just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. For now, take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire. It is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. 
Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. Altair, before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? Truth be told, Master, I didn't. I took a leap of faith. Okay. What did I get? Extra throwing knives. That's what I thought. I can practice throwing knives God in the courtyard. He's going to really practice. doubt that. Someone tell me why he's doing that. Okay. So let's make for. Oops. Let's make for the entrance. And see if I can fast forward to uh, to the next city. Move, people! I still say this town takes too long. However, someone did mention that if I go along the left-hand side like this. It's faster. Is he blind? And it seems that way too. Look at that, there's the gate. That was much faster. Excellent. Let's go pick up a Winston real quick. Uh, you. Let's go, horsey. And Ocker is William. I think William is the guy that uh, King Richard doesn't really like. Or William doesn't like King Richard. It's probably a little of both. So he's all bent out of shape that the king's pissed off at him. Makes him a little paranoid, I think. Hopefully pretty soon I'll be getting some information from informants or... Yeah, Ocker. <clears throat> information from informants or eavesdropping stuff. Tall structures to gain a bird's eye view of your surroundings. Tall buildings can be used to orient yourself when moving through a city. That way I can remember what assassination this is. I have a pretty good idea which one it is, though. Ah. Weapon fun time! I can throw an infinite number of... throwing knives. I was gonna call them daggers. I'm like, they're not really daggers. Gone from this place so long, I forgot what the city looks like. I wonder if you've been chased this is the place with the doctor, though. So I know there's all those crazy people up on the in the poor section of town up front. Oh yeah, this is where I killed like 13 or 14 people all at once. Well, that's kind of handy. The bureau's like right in the middle of the city. And obviously a clue from my last video should tip you off why I hate this uh, this city's final assassination is it takes place at the docks uh, so I'm surrounded by water the majority of the time and being that Altair can't swim that makes it incredibly difficult first time I played I died by drowning in that area like five or six times in a row and I ended up quitting the game there and then picking it back up like nine months or a year later and finally beating it. It was very frustrating. I hope I don't have that much problems this time. That would really start to tick me off. Starting to get a, 
better idea of what this city looked like again. Yeah, okay. He should stop acting like a child. A child? I haven't seen very many kids climbing buildings recently. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Stabby, stabby. Oh, there was some Flash game I played where the guy said that. It's hilarious. Oh, no, it wasn't stabby, stabby. It was slashy, slashy. That's what it was. Slashy, slashy. That game was weird. It was entertaining, but it was weird. Okay. There it is. Let's go get some information on this guy and figure out what we need to do. Rafiq. Word has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. What can you tell me of the man himself? William has been named regent while the king conducts his war. The people see it as a strange choice given the history between Richard and William's son, Conrad. But I think Richard rather clever for it. Clever how? Richard and Conrad do not see eye to eye on most matters. Though they are civil enough in public, there are whispers that each intends evil upon the other. And then, there was that business with Akkar's captured Saracens. In its wake, Conrad has returned to Tyre, and Richard has compelled William to remain here as his guest. You mean his hostage? Whatever you wish to call it, William's presence here should dissuade Conrad from acting out. I've never been one for politics. But surely you realize your every action shapes the course of this land's future. You are a politician too, in your own way. As you wish. Now where would you suggest I begin my search? Richard's citadel, southwest of here. Or rather, the market in front of it. You'll find the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in that direction as well. It's a popular place and should be filled with talkative citizens. Finally, try the border to the west, where the chain and hospitaller districts meet. That should start you on your way. Very well. I won't disturb you further. It's no trouble at all. All right. Now I know where to go and start searching around. Let's go see if we can find a view spot. There's probably one right there. That would make sense. Whoa, that is a tall church. If I remember correctly, that is the tallest viewpoint in this game. Which also makes it co coincide with being the most awesome. Knowing me, it's going to take me like 15, 20 minutes just to figure out how to climb the damn thing. Remember some of the viewpoints... I think they were in Assassin's Creed 2 got really awkward to climb. You had to like jump back and forth between two or three towers, getting your way up. and Made it much more interesting to do, though. Just so you know, jumping straight off of those little outcroppings is not the best way to do it. You need to find your hay and jump towards it. No, shrunk guys. Oh. Damn, a Templar. I think. I don't know anybody else that would get that pissed off that quickly. I think he's yelling at me in French. This looks like a viewpoint. Come on, climb up. Oh, I was just about to say I don't think Templars throw rocks. That obviously is incorrect. Ouch. 
Here we go. Maybe now when I jump into the hay off of this thing, it'll... Nope, it won't hide me. Oh, now it will. Just gotta stay hidden. Okay, where's this hay? There it is. Dare steal in my presence. That will cost you your life. Please, sir, have any money? Well, I know what I'm gonna do next. Get... Hey, fellas. Let me go. I still haven't quite mastered the timing on this short blade. I'll just finish that off real quick. Maybe not real quick, I guess. I have to be anonymous, huh? That'll work. Suppose I should thank you, though don't think I couldn't have handled them myself. Still, you've done right by me. I'll see to it that the favor is returned. Just let me turn so I can climb this ladder, that would be thankful. Okay. Let go of the camera, thank you. There's a pickpocket over there. Oh, it's right here. Next to a viewpoint. How handy. Hello, guards. I have extra knives just it's for you. Forbidden for you to be here. See how I can make that. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. Here's the viewpoint. Hold on just a sec. Sorry about that. Huh, <laughs> scared the birds. I think I wouldn't be able to see the pickpocket underneath this until I went to this viewpoint, but... So just, at this point, it doesn't care. I think it's inside, though. Sure looks that way. Can't tell who it is. Okay. Jump down. There they are. They let you come and go as you please. I thought the fortress was closed to all. Aye, but William wishes to have repairs completed as soon as possible. It's been to our advantage. The perfect cover. It's clever. Anyway, I've finished my report and should deliver it. For once, it seems things might go our way, and not by accident. Well, the Bible does say God helps those who help themselves. Nah, it doesn't, actually. That's from one of Aesop's fables. The Bible says quite the opposite, in fact. Many passages of being patient and faithful and waiting for the Lord to decide if he wishes to assist. Well, I say we've waited long enough. You'll hear no argument from me. Very well. I'm off then. Your stuff, too, will get stolen, my friend. Oh. Don't worry about me. What? You should have kept your hands just so. Uh-oh. Not good. Time to run. Ouch. Get out of the way. Man. Oop. 
I thought it was losing sync for some reason. He won't get away that easily. It was our flag. An awkward way to climb. Oh, no fair. So I go back in. Fine then, stay hidden. Craven bastard. <laughs>